Uh, next up, uh, I've got Zobie Fright Pack here. I did have a ton of mail because I worked basically for nine days straight. Uh, it was work, come home, sleep, go straight back to work. Uh, don't recommend it. Overtime's nice, but uh, can really start to kill you when you hit day five or seven when you're working 12 hour shifts. And only two of those were like shorter shifts. So, anyway, that's why everything's behind. But I've uh, got a couple other things I'm going through. So, anyway, Zobi Fright Pack. There are still boxes available last I checked. And this box and Zobi in general is freaking killing it. So, if you want to get on with any company that that is nothing but amazing in terms of customer service, go to Zobi. Now, I'm not quite as want I don't want to be in the limelight quite as much as Daryl <laughs> is, <laughs> but it is awesome that he brings a lot of us kind of a lot more people back in. Uh, I actually found Zobi. I think I didn't find him through through Daryl, but. Uh, Anyway, I, I can't exactly remember, but I've been with them for a while. Like, I do a lot of the pre-orders through them. Like, I've got a I've got a Boba Fett signed helmet. I've got some of the stuff from up here is from them. That Freddy Glove was one of theirs. Uh, Elvira was actually Mintech. But um, they do a lot of work with uh, another company they do their autos for, and I've basically... I'm, le I'm leaving that box behind. I'm absolutely done. I have tried to give them a chance to come back and it hasn't gone anywhere. So I'm going to stop wasting that money each month and put that towards something else. Uh, anyway, I'll get into this. I did pre-cut this. I have not checked if there's any upgrades in here. I did kind of see a few spoilers, but I want to run through so anybody who is interested in this can check it out. I figure the more Zobies out there, the more they can get a little bit... Uh, more exposure, even though they're already doing awesome. JR's like kicking ass right now. So, anyway, um, when you open up, you got paper. Went with red this time. I know with uh, the last box for the Zobie box, they did green because it was like Ninja Turtles with the autograph in it, so that was kind of cool. But you figure, hey, it's Fright Pack, so red for blood, I guess, kind of cool. Anyway, theming it out a little bit better. So, I'm going to avoid, I'll do the spoiler card last, but this is another reason here that I love this company. You get notes like this. So, it's just the extra stuff that goes into it. They obviously um, did, made these up way beforehand, but this is cool because, you know, a lot of us grew up reading Goosebumps. I know I did, and I love Goosebumps. I, when I get bored at work at my easy job, Goosebumps is one of the shows I, I throw on on Netflix. So, uh, this one here says, "I'm su I'm such a big dummy for you. Thank you for the support. Uh, you rock." And it's signed by Jr. So, anyway, um, good deal on that. But we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. So. This is awesome. They had advertised Jeepers Creepers as one of the themes, and I kind of figured this would be the autograph, but I wanted to wait and see. Anyway, um, <laughs> so instead of just doing, like, a photograph as the main, like, two autographs or something there, they've been doing, like, an item and then the autograph on, like, a, like a prop and then a photo. So they did that on the last one because that was a sickle from uh, Leslie Vernon uh, behind the mask. And then they did the leather face for the last one, which is a lost leather face, which is super cool. Anyway, this is quality right here. I mean, this is freaking cool. This is the uh, license plate from the truck that he drives around in the, the movie. And I mean, these are JSE certed. So, you know, for a $70 ship box, this is already kind of hitting the value right here. I mean... This is, this is awesome. This is a cool piece you could put up on the wall. And it's, like, super easy to display. So, anyway. That is the first thing on there. And we'll go ahead and do the next autograph. This is... <laughs> so, Tom Savini is awesome. And From Dust Till Dawn is one of those movies that 
it's just an awesome freaking movie. And Tarantino's in it. it it's a classic. So, we have Tom Savini as Sex Machine in this. <laughs> this is super cool. I know he's done a lot of like prop work and stuff for other films, but this is this is awesome. And of course, JSA cert on the back. And continuing on, there's usually a print like with the last one. Cool. This is uh, from Short Fuse Studios. We've got Malachi from uh, Children of the Corn. I love this movie. <laughs> Le, what is it? Her name? Linda Hamill? Hamilton? Anyway, I, I think that's her last name. Whatever. The chick from uh, Play Sarah Connor in Terminator is in this film. And I love this movie. It's so cheesy, and it, but it, the idea of like these kids just taking over town and just like straight up slaughtering everybody is kind of. This is awesome. Anyway. That is definitely a cool print. I'm not a uh, major print person, but that's that's a not that's a cool item, and I like that it's like a franchise that it doesn't pop up a lot. Um, Children of the Corn is one of those '80s ones that it's a great film. It just doesn't pop up enough. So next up, and of course, you know, with his card, this kind of gave away what it was. But the pin, this is this is an awesome, awesome, awesome pin. So, if you're a Goosebumps fan, you would know uh, Night of the Living Dummy, Slappy. And I know that, I, I think it was Trick or Treat Studios is re just recently released or has on pre-order. I'm not sure if it actually came out yet. The Slappy Dummy, so like a full size. And this is, this is a big pen. I mean, these they're double backed. So... Pins like this are the quality that you get with these pins. These are not cheap pins that they're they're picking up from like the third rate person. These are awesome double back pins and they're awesome sizes. So that's definitely cool. And I know they said that there would be an item from the Eskimo shop. So that's what this is. I've straight up I've never seen Sinister. It's on a list of things that I want to see, but I just have not gotten around to. So, anyway, this is a figure from uh, Sinister. So, this is 93 of 300, and that is a nice thing about these Fright Packs, is that they do limit them, and everything in there is going to be numbered. So, the pin, let's see, pin on here, 289 of 300. So, I know they throw them in randomly. So you get around like random numbers and anyway, that is the whole box. So we'll take a look at the spoiler card. Oh, one other thing to note in here. You've got these get sent out with like every box they do. These are the JSA certification uh, things that you get. And this will actually save you ten dollars if you go and submit your items at an actual con. I believe these have to be done in person, but ten bucks an item. That is awesome. And these are good until the end of, uh, no, beginning of 2019. So you got a while on these. It's 131 of 19. And this is cool. I mean, this is the kind of thing that, like, is the extra to the box. That's what makes these totally worth it. So, anyway, spoiler card here. It looks like there was random, well, there always is random Easter eggs and upgrades. I didn't get any of that, but it's still cool. We've got uh, the license plate uh, signed by Jonathan Breck. And that's the, the guy who played the, the Creeper in the original movie. I'm not sure if he did it throughout the others. Three was just don't waste your time. But one and two are still... One, of course, is the best, but two was really good. Uh, Dust Till Dawn, Tom Savini, Science Sex Machine, 8x10. Uh, we also have the print that is by yeah short fuse studios and then the slappy two inch pin and then i guess that's the boogle stylized figure by eskimo shop that's a cool item um i'm, I'm gonna have to check that movie out uh, the eskimo shop has been they've been putting out some pretty cool cool stuff too so anyway that is a fright pack if you are interested in picking one up definitely go to zobi and try to grab one because I know they have a few left, but they do sell out, like the Zobie box. They 
the I know Zobu Box was the first one they did, but this is like the third. I want to say third or fourth fright pack, but um, this is it's a great box. You definitely get your bang for your buck, and I mean if you're getting signed prop replica stuff like this, it's definitely worth it. So go check it out.